On today's episode, I deliver a sweet, sweet recipe for revenge with the greatest pranks in the universe. I'm John P and Geek Me begins. Now. This episode of Geek Meat is brought to you by Audible. Do you guys have that one guy in your office who just won't stop pranking everyone? Wait for him to get it. <laughs> what, 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 what happened? I jumped out and pranked him to death with a tire iron. <laughs> Well, it's time to fight back. I say don't just play his game, win it. Here's how. Okay, you're probably new to this, so let's just start small. That jackass in the office next door to you probably loves his tape. So teach him a lesson by taking a box cutter or a knife and making a nice slice right across the roll. He'll have hours of fun pulling tape apart the pieces one after another. When you're done with that, go to work on his keyboard. All you have to do is pop the keys off and put them back all in the wrong place. This will mess with even the best touch typists. Finally, take a small piece of that tape and put it over the laser or ball on the bottom of his mouse. Of course, if you've got access to your target's house, you could step it up a notch with a few classics. How about loading up their pillow with flour? Or better yet, replace their shampoo with mayonnaise. My personal fave, if you can get them while they're sleeping, shake up some glow sticks, cut the lids off, and pour it all over your mark. Then wake them up, screaming in the dark, and tell them they're glowing. While I'm sure our friends at Audible wouldn't approve of any of our pranks, and probably wouldn't even approve of me in general, one thing they would approve of would be you heading over to audiblepodcast.com forward slash geekbeat and signing up to get some awesome audiobooks. In fact, they would approve so much, they're going to give you a free audiobook of your choosing just for going to audiblepodcast.com forward slash geekbeat. They have audiobooks about romance, werewolves, Space, murder, clowns, money, flowers, cooking, men in tights, and basketball. Actually, I only said all of that to see what would Dave do with that green screen back there in the edit. But trust me, they got more audiobooks than you can shake a pair of headphones at. So head over to audiblepodcast.com forward slash geekbeat and get a free book and support your favorite show. That's geekbeat, by the way. Everyone loves a tasty little snack. And there's nothing better than Oreos. Yeah! <laughs> Since no one can resist them, you can whip up a special little batch by replacing the cream with toothpaste. Yummy! You may have heard of the old Kool-Aid in the shower head trick, but take it from me, that doesn't work. The Kool-Aid blasts out in no time. What you need is chicken bouillon. <laughs> It comes in those densely packed little cubes, so it takes a few minutes to get it all out of the shower head. Meanwhile, your victim comes out smelling like Campbell's chicken noodle soup. It's mmm mmm good. My absolute favorite on the list of pranks today only requires two things. A mini air horn from Walmart and some duct tape. Hey Dave, you gonna get the uh, TriCaster going? Yeah, yeah. Finally, the piece de resistance. One of the most beautiful treats you'll find anywhere is the candy apple. They come covered in sprinkles or nuts and in all beautiful shades of red. All of which makes for perfect camouflage when you swap the apple out with an onion. Yes, you know you want to do it, so why deprive yourself? YOLO! 
That's it for today's mischief. If you've got any great pranks, leave them in the comments below along with your thumbs up. Maybe I'll make a follow-up video and feature yours after I've had the opportunity to practice them out a bit first. <laughs>